A local sheriff's office has agreed to stop banning or blocking people for posting, quote, off-topic or offensive remarks on his Facebook page. Now, that decision comes in the wake of a federal lawsuit filed by a man who tried to criticize the Walton County Sheriff on Facebook but was blocked by his staff. Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says it's a nationwide issue as the public square has been replaced by keyboards and computers in many cases. Randy? That's right, Russ and Marissa. Yeah, earlier this month, a federal court ruled that since President Trump uses his Twitter account for public business, he could not block people from posting negative comments there. But one sheriff says he's considering a different solution, shut down his office's Facebook page for good. There was a time when a town's big issues were debated in public, in person, right on the town square. But these days, that square is empty, while the virtual world is overflowing with words. You guys are awesome. They do nothing but forcefully take from us. Great job, WCSO. How about you spend time testing rape kits and stop harassing people with a plan? Love our sheriff. Sheriff Chapman is a criminal. But instead of debate, what if that 21st century town square was filled only with compliments. You guys are awesome. Great job, WCSO. Love our sheriff. I just don't think that a government agency should be able to delete or modify or censor a citizen's speech in any way. Chris Davis is no fan of the Walton County Sheriff's Office. An ugly dispute with his neighbors landed him in jail. All charges dropped with an agreement he moved out of Walton County. But he still wasn't happy with the way he was treated by Sheriff Joe Chapman. So he logged on to the Walton County Sheriff's Office Facebook page to let his feelings be heard with posts like this. Sheriff Joe will block your butt. He'll intimidate and he'll take vengeance on those who are not loyal. But after a short time, those critical comments would disappear. Eventually, Davis says he couldn't comment at all. I could access their web page, their Facebook page, but the ability to comment, like, or share was gone. It was like duct tape was placed over my mouth. So Davis sued four members of the Walton County Sheriff's Office, including one unhappy defendant. I got more important things to do than sit around and and uh, look at things on the Facebook. Sheriff Chapman says he rarely goes on the website, but likes the Facebook page as a good way to share important community news, like road closures or gas leaks. In federal court, the sheriff's office admitted blocking 29 people for violating their policy not to post off-topic, rude, politically related, or offensive comments. Curiously, Davis was not on that list. Turns out the sheriff's office page administrator was hiding his comments from public view. So you're sure you didn't use any profanity? I'm sure. You didn't threaten anyone? Didn't threaten anyone, no. For the negative comments to miraculously disappear and the positive comments to stay on there, that was kind of a real big telltale sign. There was an effort by your office to stop him from posting any comments. I would say so. Why? What's the harm in letting somebody say something mean about your department? Well, I, I, I don't care. I don't mind. They can only say whatever they want to. We checked with other local sheriff's offices. Like Walton County, three have policies banning comments for reasons like threats, profanity, offensive or inappropriate comments. Across the metro area, 86 people have been banned from posting on sheriff's Facebook pages. But that may soon change. A federal court recently ruled President Trump cannot block people he doesn't like from commenting on his Twitter page, citing a violation of their First Amendment rights. I just don't sit and look at that stuff. Joe Chapman also reached a settlement with Chris Davis, reinstating everyone who had been blocked or banned. That modern town square is filled with opposing ideas once again. They you do guys nothing are awesome. but Chapman is awesome. Awesome. Stop. Stop. Everyone is unblocked. Everyone on both sides no matter what their opinion is, they can go on that page today and they can talk. Of course, as long as there is a page. I'm trying to weigh in my mind if, if Facebook is, is worth it, if it's worth all the aggravation. Why don't they get in the car and drive down here and sit down and tell me what they think instead of getting on the Facebook? Well, so here's the Walton County Sheriff's new Facebook policy. They will only filter obscene language and criminal conduct. However, 
they can still report users to Facebook if anyone's post violates the site's terms of service, such as hate speech or quote, cruel and insensitive content. So there are some ways to be blocked. And by the way, the Walton County Sheriff's Office also agreed to pay Chris Davis $10,000 to cover his legal bills in this uh, legal fight. That's very wow. interesting. The sheriff makes the point. People will say things on Facebook they would never say mm -hmm. to your face. Uh, but is he really serious about just getting rid of Facebook altogether? He is. I mean, he says he's going to wait till next year, maybe get through the primary or the general election next year before deciding for sure. But, hmm. you know, I mean, some counties, we check Cobb County's Sheriff's Office does not, does not have a Facebook page. Mm. Right. So it's not like you have to have one. No. And he's just trying to decide if it's worth paying somebody part time to administer it when it's creating this type of, um, of reaction from some members of the community. All right. Well, great report. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Randy.